This is the Perfect Pup Podcast, helping you build a better relationship with your pup. Presented by Pupford. Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. My name is Devin. In this episode, we are going to talk about ways to clean your puppy or older dog without bathing them. And you might be thinking, why would I ever need to do this? For some dogs, they're just too scared or stressed out by full baths or being in the water. For other situations, you may just need to be freshening your dog up between baths, or maybe they just rolled in something, or you're not in a situation where you can access and give a good full bath. So we're going to dive into ways to clean your dog without a bath. So let's get right into it. It's important to remember that for dogs eight weeks, puppies eight weeks and younger, they shouldn't have normal baths. They're not really good at regulating their body temperature. And so if you give them a full bath and they're not dried properly, it can lead to issues. And I'm going to mention that at the end of this episode, I'm going to give you kind of my favorite hack or my favorite tip for making grooming time much less stressful for our dogs. So be sure to stick around for that. Another important point to note is that you shouldn't use human products on your dog. Reason being is that our dog's skin and coat and their pH levels and all the different scientific things that I don't necessarily completely understand are different than us humans. And that's why there are dog shampoos and human shampoos and the chemicals, you know, they react differently for dogs versus humans. So just avoid using human products when you are grooming your dog. And for all three of these tips that we're gonna talk about, brushing should be a part of all of it. Brushing is a surprisingly effective way to clean your dog and just get rid of some of that excess hair and even some dead skin cells and just help your dog seem a little bit more fresh and clean. So the first way to clean your dog without bathing them is to use dog wipes. Dog wipes are available at all kinds of places and there are many brands that offer them, but Generally speaking, you want to use one that is dog specific. Like we mentioned before, normal baby wipes or something like that, the chemicals and things in them are just not made for dogs. You need dog specific wipes. You generally wanna find ones that are hypoallergenic and don't use things like alcohol as those can dry out your dog's skin. Again, dog specific ones, you're going to be fine. And you just use that, you wipe your dog off, you can rub them and clean, clean off dirty areas. People will use them on paws, on their dog's bum. You know, they'll use them if they roll around in something just to kind of freshen them up. What I like about the dog wipes is they are convenient. You can easily throw them in a backpack or take them with you when you're traveling. The downside is it can get quite expensive uh, just because the dog wipes aren't super, super cheap. And Every time you use it, you go through one and they can go away quickly, but a great option for cleaning your dog without a bath. Another popular option for, you know, keeping your dog fresh in between baths or to give them a bath without water is to do kind of a spot clean. And you can accomplish this in different ways, but generally you're going to use either like a bucket with some, some good soapy water. I recommend using Sudsy or shampoo bar. You can use like a spray bottle with a you know, dog safe soapy solution. You can even just use a wet rag with a little bit of soap on it or no soap at all. And you just are going to kind of clean your dog, rub, rub them with that rag or spray the bottle on them. And, you know, it's good to have a second rag or a second towel that you can use to soak up any excess soap, also just to dry them. So it's important that you don't leave soap on your dog if you're going to go this kind of spot cleaning route because if you leave the soap on them, it can irritate their skin. Be sure that you give them a good drying off and make sure that there's no excess soap. And probably the most popular way and one of my favorite ways to clean my dogs without a bath is to use a dry shampoo. If you're familiar with dry shampoo for humans, the concept is similar. You know, you may not want to be putting shampoo and conditioner in your hair every single day, but if you get excess oil or the smell or whatever it might be, you might use a dry shampoo and it's so similar with our dogs. You are going to just brush them off again to get rid of some of that excess hair and shake the dry shampoo on. I like to rub it in with my hands a little bit and just kind of almost give them like a back scratch and a belly rub with the dry shampoo. And then you want to give it another combing to really get it deep in there into their coat um, underneath, underneath the coat rather, and onto their skin. At Pupford, we offer a dry shampoo uh, that I love. It has arrowroot powder and baking soda, which actually help kind of remove excess oil and dirt. And it also has dog safe essential oils that smell really, really nice and also have some 
properties that help repel bugs and insects. So it's really, really easy to use the dry shampoo to help your dog smell clean and fresh, especially between baths. And that leads to kind of my bonus hack, my bonus tip of how I've helped my dogs be much less stressed during grooming. And that would go for all three of those things that we just talked about, dog wipes, dry shampoo, whatever it might be, or even normal baths. And that's to use a lick mat. Lick mats are a flat dog toy with grooves that you can spread peanut butter, you can spread different things, even like a dehydrated food or our over the topper meal toppers, just something that can be spread on top. And then you can either give it to your dog as is or freeze it to help it last longer. And then when you're grooming your dog, when you're doing these activities, you're letting them just use that lick mat. They get to lick it off. It has kind of a therapeutic feeling for the dogs of, of being able to lick something plus it tastes good and it's going to generally keep them distracted and help them be less stressed. So as a recap, three easy ways to clean your puppy without bathing them. You can use dog wipes as number one option. You can also use a spot cleaning where you're just using like a wet rag or a soapy rag. And the third option that I love is to use a dry shampoo. Again, you want products that are made specifically for your dog and not for humans. And I do want to mention as well with anything grooming related and anything with, that might cause your dog stress, you know, you want to take it slow. You don't want to force your dog into situations because then they're going to have a negative connection to that and they're going to be stressed and unhappy each time you do that grooming thing. And also you want to work on desensitization. We have other episodes and full write-ups on the Pupford website about desensitization, but it's important to take things slowly and use things like treats or lick mats or chews to create positive associations between the grooming that you're doing and how your dog feels about it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you can think of some fun ways to keep your dog clean, even in between baths. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts, follow us on Spotify, subscribe on YouTube and leave a comment. And other than that, we will catch you on the next episode. Wow.